Welcome back to Just Academy Mathematics channel, where we make you a mathematics genius. Today, we are going to be starting a new topic in our series of uh, matrix and determinants. We are starting off determinants today. Determinant of matrix. Determinant of matrix. And in this class, we are going to be taking the first leg of two by two matrix determinant. Two by two matrix determinant. Now I have a little write up here just to give us the background of what determinant is all about. So the determinant of a matrix A is symbolized or denotes uh, as DETA, uh, -E that is determinant of A or the absolute value of A, the modulus of A. You can see this straight line. This is not a curve. This is a straight line for absolute value symbol. Uh, so this is represent the determinant of A. In terms of matrix, it is called determinant of A. Uh, but generally, this is absolute value of A. Uh, in, the, in the case of two by two matrix, the specific formula for each determinant is the upper left element multiplied by the lower right element minus the product of the other two elements. Now, this is what uh, I'm trying to say here. By the upper left element, I mean A, A here now in this case. A, this is the upper left. A, the lower right is uh, D. So A times D minus B times C. That is the determinant of A. And the determinant of A can be presented like this. A determinant. You can see that this is uh, absolute value sign now. It's straight line, not curve. Not uh, as in curve. Uh, there is a big difference between this and this. Uh, this one means determinant. Uh, determinant of matrix A, of this matrix. Uh, and what does it mean? Determinant simply means A times D you can see it here, minus B times what? C. That is like this, uh, minus this times this. A times D minus B times C. Do you get that now? So we have one example here. To, uh, you know, uh, let's, let's see this example. So they say given that P is equals to 5, 2, minus 3, 1, find the determinant of P. So first of all, we know that P, we know the value that this is P. So P determinant simply means 5 minus 3, 2, 1. Uh, so this implies that this will times this, which is what? 5 times 1, then minus 2 times minus 3. That is the determinant. This times this minus this times this. Uh, so the P determinant now is equals to what? Five. Of course, this is minus six. Minus six times minus will give us plus six. So the determinant of this matrix is 11. That is P determinant. P determinant is equals to 11. Are you following? So that is how to find the determinant of a matrix. It's just simple, very simple. Uh, so this times this will give us 5 minus this times this, uh, which will give us plus 6. You add it up, you get 11. Okay, let's see another example. And so advance. Look at example 2. Look at example 2. Now, this example, example 2, say given that P is equal to this matrix here, we are asked to find, we are asked to find um the value of s if the determinant of p is equals to minus 10. so let's see what they are saying determinant of p means p determinant like this which is similar to this s plus 3 s plus 1 s plus 2 s minus 1. so what does that imply in this equation here, anywhere we see determinant of P, we can replace it with 10, minus 10. So we'll put minus 10 here, 
is equal to what does this mean? This times this minus this times this. So let's do that. We have s plus 3 times s minus 1 minus s plus 2 times s plus 1. So of course we have just uh, equation. Let's open the bracket. We have minus 10 is equal to this time this will give me what s square s times s s times 1 minus x plus 3 times s 3x plus 3 times minus 1 minus 3 minus we still put this in bracket so what that s times s is what s square s times 1 x 2 times s 2x 2 times 1 2 so we go ahead and we have minus 10 is equals to s square minus 1s plus 3s will give us what? Of course, 2x minus 3. When this minus times this x square, you have minus s square. Now, this and this will give me 3s. 1s plus 2s is 3s. Minus times 3s will give me minus 3s. And minus times plus 2 will give me minus 2. So this is now a full quadratic equation. Now, this simply means that 0 is equal to s square minus s square. As you can see, then we have uh, minus 3x plus 2x. Then we have minus 2. I will just bring this one there now. Uh, but since minus 2 plus 10. Okay. I didn't know that this is going out. Now, see this and this, s square minus s square is zero, it's out. That means we are left with what? We are left with what? Minus 3s plus 2s, which is minus s. And minus 2 plus 10 will give us what? Will give us 8. Are you with me now? Okay, so... Uh, okay, no, we, we, I, I missed to add this one here. Look at this minus 3. Uh, it's not here yet. So let's bring it down. Uh, before this minus 10, come, before this 10 come here, I was supposed to have the minus 3, but let's include it here. Minus 3. So here now we have minus 2, minus 3, minus 5. Minus 5 plus 10 will give us uh, 5. Positive 5, not 8. Uh, we have 5. Uh, so what do we do next? We collect like terms. The word that x is equal to 5, positive 5. Uh, that is the value of x. Now, I'm just because I'm trying to show you, we, that is why we are solving it. Under normal circumstance, if you are giving this in exam, since it's objective, not theory, that means whether you are showing your solution or not, all they require you to do is to make a choice from these options it will be faster to put value here it will be very fast for example now but i don't know this one may be faster for some people if you put minus five here here will be minus two if you put minus five here here will be minus four if you put minus five here, here will be minus three you quickly check this time this this time this is, is the one that gives you minus ten that is the correct option but if you are to do that that means you have to check this you have to check this, you have to check this, and you have to check this since D is the, op the right answer. Uh, so it may even end up taking more time than just solving it. But that is for example two. Now, for this class, let's take on this example three. Uh, look at example three. So example three, in example three, we are asked, we are say, uh, they say given that, given that Q is equal to that matrix there. We are asked to find the determinant of Q times Q transpose minus 3Q. Now, how do we go about all this? Uh, first of all, let's get some of the values. Let's get Q transpose. Uh, what is Q transpose? Or rather, Q is what? Q is minus 3, minus 2, 1, 2, comma, what is Q transpose? Uh, let's get the value of Q transpose. Q transpose is you pick this row and make it column. It becomes minus 3, 
one, you pick this second row, make it second column, it becomes minus two, two. So that is scale transpose. So let's get Q times Q transpose. So Q times Q transpose will be equals to minus three minus two one two times minus three minus two uh, one two over here. So we are going to perform the operation now. So what 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 would that give us if we time CM together? Of course, this will time this. So give me what this and this will. Minus three times minus three is nine. Uh -huh. Then one times one is one plus one. Uh -huh. Minus three times minus two, six. One times two is two. Uh -huh. Minus two times minus three, six. Two times one is two. Minus two times minus two, four. One, two times two is what? Four. So in other words, the multiplication of these two will give us what? Will give us 10, and followed by what? Eight, eight, and what? Eight. Uh, so now we have gotten Q times Q transpose. What about Tere Q? Let's get Tere Q. Uh, Tere Q simply means Tere times minus Tere one minus two two, which is equal to what? Times everything by Tere have minus nine Tere minus six six. Uh -huh. I think we can now go for the full equation now that Q times Q transpose minus Tere Q will now be what? This one Q times Q transpose of course is what? 10, 8, 8, 8 minus Tere Q is what? Minus 9 Tere minus 6, 6. Are you with me now? So Let's get the operation, the answer for this first. Then Q times Q transpose minus Tere Q is equals to what? Where you minus, of course, 10 minus, minus, minus times minus is plus. 10 plus 9 is 19. Eh? Now, 8 minus Tere will give us what? 5. 8 minus times minus plus. 8 plus 6 will give us what? 14. Uh, then 8 minus 6 will give us what? 2. So that is the answer. Therefore, finally, let's find the determinant of this. So we we'll say the determinant of Q times Q transpose minus Tere Q will be equals to the determinant of this, uh, which will now mean what? Which will now mean 19, 5, 14, 2. Uh, sorry, straight line here. Uh, so of course you know what that means. That means 19 times what two, uh, 19 times two, which is 38. So we have what here? 19 times two minus five times 14. Uh, 19 times two will give us what 38, and five times 14 will give us what 70. Uh, five times 14 will give us 70. So we have 70 here. Uh, then what do we have now? We have that 38 minus 70 will now give us what? 38 minus 70 will get minus what? Negative 3 and 2. So this is the final answer. Minus 32. Minus 32. So that is it for this class. Um, make sure you watch the concluding part of this class, uh, which is where I'm going to be solving example 3 and example 4 rather. An example five for two by two uh, uh, mat uh, determinant, two by two matrix determinant. So if you have not uh, uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel, do that. Follow us on Facebook, the same handle, just Academy Mathematics, just Academy Mathematics. If you are in need of one-on-one -on -one tutorial, you want us to teach you on a private basis. You want us to teach you to help you understand mathematics regardless of the topic it doesn't matter whether it's matrix or uh, statistics or algebra or geometry we have uh, experienced and qualified tutors that will handle that for you uh, and the price is affordable thank you see you in our next class remember if you are in need of private tutorial reach us via our whatsapp contact that is showing 
on the screen. thank you.